Hello everybody, this is part 3 of modeling a conceptual hair dryer. Okay, in this part, I want to model the default nozzle for the dryer and then uh, also create the buttons. Okay, let's start. Okay, I created the curves that will define the nozzle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude these curves. Okay. And I will use them to remove the regions that will no longer be required. Okay, which is this part over here. So I'm going to use the Boolean split. Okay, select object to split is this. Cutting object is this. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. And I don't need this now. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this as well but before that let me do an offset of this okay to create the tiny gap okay offset surface and select this and create a tiny offset of maybe um, 0.2 okay Let's offset the other direction. Okay. Okay. So now uh, let's do the boolean split again. So object to split. Cutting object is this and this. Enter. Okay. So I don't need this. I don't need this. And we can remove that small little piece over there. Okay. So we have uh, created the default nozzle for the hair dryer. And now I want to proceed to create the button. Okay. In order to speed up the modeling process and reduce the duration of the video what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of the buttons from the design as it is having the same form as another button okay so I'm not going to do duplicated work and tasks uh, increase the duration of the video so I'm going to delete this and move this up Okay. So bear in mind that um these are just a rough guide. So what I need to do now is to create a more accurate curves that will define the buttons. Okay. Let's start by creating this button. Okay. I'm going to put two points. And then coming to this view, I'm going to use the point for creating the circle which will form one of the outer surface of the button so I'm going to select this and extrude okay let's move this forward okay for this particular button the front portion will be following the profile of the handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract uh, the surface of the handle and do an offset so that I can create the front surface for the button. Okay. So to extract, I'm going to go to the export icon and do a right mouse click. Select this, select this, enter. Maybe I should join this first and then do offset. Okay, so I click on the offset surface, select this, enter. So I want to offset the distance of uh, 3. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, so I think now what I'm going to do is let's hide the rest of the features. 
and just focus on working here. Okay, I'm going to use the trim. To remove some of the unnecessary regions okay I'm gonna execute another trim and remove this okay so I got the basic feature for the button Okay, now I'm going to do another trim. Trim one more time. Okay. okay, I got this. Okay, now what I want to do is join all of these into a solid. Okay, and then bring back the other stuff. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to create an opening on the handle okay but before that let's join this feature back to the main body okay so click this join this and most probably I need to join this as well okay great okay, so now what I'm going to do is select this create an offset surface again and let's set a distance of let's say 0.2 okay so i got the offset and let's do a boolean difference okay so click on this object to subtract from is this object to subtract with is the the offset button surface okay great we have created the gap okay so maybe now what you can do is to create some filler blend over here so go to solid filler edge blend edge and maybe set this to 2.5 okay great I got the button okay now let's proceed to build the other button okay I'm going to create a circle that will better depict the button This. okay something like that okay and next what I need to do is to find the center of this circle so I need to go to object snap center and then draw a line Let me isolate the other details. Okay, and then draw another line. Okay, um, I need to draw an ellipse and the ellipse must be aligned to the center of the circle. So I'm going to draw an ellipse. Make sure the near is turned on. Maybe something like that. Okay, 
now what I'm going to do is to trim off the areas of the curves that will no longer be part of the button so I'm going to click the trim okay, select the objects enter okay I'm going to join this I don't need this anymore okay let's bring back the main body I reckon I need to move the button forward okay, somewhere around here Okay, and now uh, let's proceed to extrude this profile. Somewhere around here. Okay, actually, I don't need this. Okay. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is to create the curves that will form the side of the button. Something like that. And let's extrude it. Okay. mirror this onto the other side okay okay now I want to create the button Let's hide the rest first. Okay, gonna use the trim. Cutting object. Region to trim. Cutting object. Region to trim. Okay. So I got like a basic shape for the button. Let's bring everything back. Okay. You notice that this edge profile is not very aesthetically pleasing. What you need to do is to round off the button. So that we get a more rounded detail over here. Okay. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is to rotate this button about its center which is here okay so that this button is more or less aligned to the outer surface of this handle okay so I'm going to press the control key and snap this pivot point here so that I can rotate this button to be something like that okay
Oops. Let's undo. Okay, what I'm going to do is I should join the surfaces of the button first. Okay, so I click the join. Okay, and let's do the rotation again. Press the control key, snap the pivot point to this location and then rotate the button until it's more or less aligned to this edge here. Okay. Let's scale this a little bit smaller. Okay, now what I want to do is to fillet these areas. Okay, so I go to solid, fillet edge. Okay, fillet edge, and let's set it to let's say 5. See how it goes. Okay, great. So we got like a button detail over here. Okay, now what I want to do is to offset a bigger version of the button and then use the offset one to cut the opening here okay okay so i'm going to click this offset surface select this whole thing enter and again you set the distance to uh, 0 0.2 Okay, now we use the outer one to cut the opening here. Okay, so I'm going to use the Boolean difference. Select poly surface to subtract from is this. Okay, poly surface to subtract with is uh, this. Enter. Okay, great. We have uh, the gap over there. Okay. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this part. See you. Bye.